Welcome back to another activity and today we're going to look at a picture wall in a book or photograph describe to someone why it was made the mood feelings and the subject so let's get started. We just described a, f uh, a picture that was line, shapes, all the elements. But this time we're actually going to describe the picture using a different way. So we're actually going to use the same picture. Go so look at it. Here's my picture of the sailboat. And we're going to describe this paint, this painting, or this photograph, how it's made and the mood or feeling of this picture so <clears throat> it is the photograph actually a print of a photograph and which is kind of like most photographs are prints when you see them they're actually a print so basically means they use ink a lot of times for this purpose this was actually probably was taken to using ink and all that stuff but photographs there's many ways you can make a copy of a photograph a copy make a copy photograph you a long time ago to create pictures you had to develop the film and use some kind of chemicals to basically start back and forth to create the shading the the darkness to create the photograph because today most photographs are printed off of computers there's still some some photographers that still do the old-fashioned you know film and all that but most today cameras are digital and everything is done by computer with photoshop to to make the dark side doing all these little things to it and then print it on a very fancy uh, photo type of printer and this one is because it is a, a, a print this one is actually <clears throat> just done by a computer printed on a printer so that's how it is made but this photograph I don't know how old this photograph is it could be a, a, a new photograph old photograph. It's just how it looks like it looks like an old photograph um and no offense you can with photoshop you can make something that looks new look old it's just that's one one thing in today's technology where photographers can actually become really more of an artist because of photoshop and all those editing tools you can do but and i said even the old way artists and photographers did the same thing this day it takes a little longer takes multiple prints before they get what they like so now the mood of this painting one thing you kind of to create a mood you kind of look at certain elements you know how dark it is how light it is you know if there's figures are they happy or sad if you look at them their postures this one is kind of it feels like it was it was kind of a like i would say a foggy morning or something it's not a you know or cloudy day it's getting about to rain it kind of feels kind of dull and sad and I don't want to say sad but kind of looks you know there's not really any happy mood in this thing it's kind of it's kind of uh, it it's going to rain it's, I'm not excited um the bird is is flying around but I think this mood of this paint this photograph is very kind of dull and sad kind of sad like it's nothing really exciting 
you know, it probably kind of sad because it might, you know, you want to go sailing and, and unfortunately the weather is not cooperating. It's kind of cold, you know, and it's, the water might be choppy. Yes, the seagulls are flying, but there's not a lot of, not a lot of activity going on because it's kind of as a sad, slow morning, cold type thing. So. Just describe how you just, just think about it. And as I said, to describe, just look at the elements and how, just what do you feel like it? What do you think this painting is? So, I hope you have fun describing your own painting. All right. I hope you enjoyed this activity and, uh, and this lesson. I'll see you next time. Bye.